Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft PowerPoint on your web browser. So first, open your web browser. So in here I'm using Microsoft Edge. I'm not using Google Chrome this time. So just open your web browser and I'm using Microsoft Edge. And here, just type in office.com. Office.com here. Once you type in office.com, you can see the presentation here. So then you click PowerPoint here. And I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft PowerPoint on on web browser. So first, after you go to office.com, you need to log into your Microsoft account. And yeah, for after you log in, enter your password, and you can see the screen now. Maybe go log in your office account. So that you blank presentation presentation tree here. It's still named presentation tree. And then here you can change the layout. So you can change the layout here. Okay, you can see here layout and the PowerPoint in web browser is a little bit different with PowerPoint in your application. And this is useful if you don't want to install PowerPoint on your device, you can use the web browser. But if you don't have an internet connection, you can use the application version. But and to install the application. So if you want to use the browser, make sure you have an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection, or maybe you have a connection, you can use the best browser. So, so here, and change the change layout to change layout to blank. So here, and here we can um, make some shapes and add some shapes here. For example, I'm gonna add some rectangle here, and like this. And it's a little bit different because in Microsoft PowerPoint application version, it, you just drag the shapes. And this one is that you don't drag the shapes on Microsoft PowerPoint and browser version. So here, for example, I'm gonna make this rectangle, and you can open in desktop app. But this is the browser tutorial, so I don't want to use the uh, desktop app. So I can change this, change the color, and this is the text color by the way. And click shape here. And you can see the shape colors get changed so next how to add some text so how to add some text here is just click text box here and then type the text one for example uh, Microsoft well, let me change the font okay that's not, that's not good so we're gonna change the font to white and change it to Microsoft uh, PowerPoint tutorial okay, so I'm gonna make sure I write it right here Soft powerpoint tutorial as you can see my text ah, okay um, this is actually wrong tutorial okay and change the text color and you can also change the alignment you can change it here now oh, this is about this is about it. So here as well as the middle bottom top middle bottom center align left align right and justify so I'm gonna use center and I'm gonna use line middle so this is and this is perfect now and you can also change your font and font size so it's simple like this and you can also change the font size like this so yeah, I already changed the font size, and you can also change your font. You can get a lot of fonts here. And maybe I'm gonna just using. I'm gonna just use. Um, but also, I'm using. Okay, okay. So I think I don't need to use this. I'm going to use um, Burn Sounds FB. Yeah, I can see the font is changing now. And can go to Designer, and you can add. Um, new presentation here, new slide. I mean, not new presentation, and a new slide. You need to pick your uh, layout here. The title slash title and content section header to content comparison title only blank content no caption picture with caption blank here. Add slide. So there's something that in browser version we don't have in don't have it, but the application version have it. That's called action. So when once you on this slide, so. For example, in first slide, you want to go to um, slide 9, just click the text. For example, you get the action on the text, and you will go to slide 9. But wouldn't happen here in browser version, so we're gonna use um, action here. Okay, so 
Under here we can use uh, pictures from bank pictures, top images, and we can also make some table here. For example, we can make some table. This is our table. Okay, this is our, this is our table. And we can make our shape, for example, here. Hello. Okay, I, I, I just like that. And you can group some um, items. So, for example, I'm gonna make a new slide here, blank. So, I'm gonna make a text here. I can my text. Okay, there you go. F1 text box here. For example, the text is hi. And then I make uh, shapes here. I need to make shapes. Any shapes you want. See, for example, this is shapes. And you want to make. And you want to make text in front of the shapes. So first, you need to go to the um, here. Arrange. Click bring forward. Let's go bring forward. Okay, you can see that. And if you want to make it like a picture, you can improve it. So first, do this. And do this. And then click arrange. And then click the group one. The group objects here. Yeah, but there is something wrong with this. So, okay. Oh yeah, and we can also group. Okay, so well, we finally can group it. And then now, after we group um, the shape and the text, we can make it like this. And you can also still move it around, but it's group. It's in group. So this is nice. So you don't need, but if you, want, if you can just get these actions in the will open in desktop app so when you open the desktop app and you prove it and you cannot use the action as use the action and i'll use this okay so next i'm gonna use the words so here for example hello hi home hometown okay so i can use the words here can you see? Go to the library. This is this, and it's nice. We're making like a list. Let's check. It's nothing. And there's a table. Yeah, let's click on table, and you can just edit the table. Yeah, I can edit the table, and maybe just that for the Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial. And I'll see you in my next video. But before the video ends, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, I guess see you next video.